guys. Today I'm gonna to go over how we do cardio at Earn Everything Gym. Our cardio is a little different than you would normally see. Our cardio is based on what we train for that day. What I mean by that, today I train arms. Now I, I don't usually do arms by themselves, but I, it's been like two weeks since I trained arms, so I just figured I'd get a quick arm workout in, get in, do biceps, triceps, some forearm work, and then get out. Now, my cardio is gonna be based upon that. All right, so what I mean by that is the movements I'm gonna do for cardio are gonna be focused mainly on hitting my arms. So I'm not gonna do any leg, any leg movements or anything like that. Now, why do we do this? We do this because it gives our muscles time to recover before we hit the muscle again. For instance, Tomorrow is, tomorrow is my leg day, all right? So actually tonight, <laughs> tonight I'm gonna be hitting, it doesn't matter. All right, so let's say tomorrow is my leg day. If I train legs today during my cardio, I'm gonna tear muscle fibers. When you tear muscle fibers, blood flows into the muscle and it has to release to, re to recover. All right, so why is this important? If your muscle doesn't fully recover, it's not gonna grow, all right? Our muscles grow by fully recovering. The muscles tear apart, blood flows in, the muscles repair themselves, and then they grow. So if they're not recovering, they're not gonna grow. All right, so for cardio today, like I said, I did biceps, triceps, and some forearm work. I'm gonna do battle ropes, and I'm gonna do walkouts, all right? Now, the battle rope is primarily a bicep, and a form movement. The walkout is a is a primarily a chest, tricep, and front delt movement. All right, so I'm hitting what I worked on today. This allows me to now, after the next day, I'm going to have time to recover. I won't hit this again for a couple days. So I won't hit these muscles for a couple days. All right, I highly suggest you doing something like this, and and also. When we do cardio, all cardio is, is elevating the heart rate. So you don't have to do cardio doing mindless treadmill work or, or mindless bike work. You don't have to do that. You don't have to sit mindlessly on a, on, on a move, on an object that's not moving, you're not going anywhere, all right? You don't have to do that, all right? So if you're someone who gets bored with cardio, you don't enjoy cardio, and you wanna elevate your heart rate, I highly suggest doing something like this. Now, it doesn't always have to be the same. Our cardio, like our workouts, constantly changes. So, today, what I'm gonna do is, each round is a minute and 15 seconds long. How it's gonna work. I'm gonna do 20 seconds of speed battle ropes, and then with the remainder of the time, I'm gonna go into walkouts, into a close grip pushup. From there, after a the minute and 15 seconds is up, I'm gonna take a 45 second break and then I'm gonna repeat. And that's how it's gonna go, all right? So I work for a set time, take a short break, do it again. Work for a set time, take a short break. So what I'm doing is I'm elevating the heart rate and I'm bringing it back down. Elevating the heart rate and I'm bringing it back down. All right, this is a very good way to do cardio. I don't believe in doing mindless cardio for 20 minutes, all right? Also, I don't believe in doing 20 minute Metcons. They're, they're, just, not, they're just not very beneficial. They, they aren't, especially if you're doing 20 minute Metcons three, four, five days a week. Chances are if you're doing 20 minute Metcons three, four, five days a week, it's because your coach doesn't feel like programming. They throw a 20 minute Metcon out there and there's your workout, all right? so. If you're someone who you find yourself doing Metcon at the Metcon at the Metcon, that's 15, 20 minutes long, you might want to second guess your program. All right, guys, I'm going to demonstrate the workout here, and this is how we do our cardio. All right, check it out. And if you have any questions on how we do um, any other type of body part, feel free, and we'll do another video on how we do different, um, different body part with different body part cardio. All right guys, check it out. Okay guys, 
This is 20 seconds of speed battle ropes, followed by 55 seconds of walkouts into a close grip push-up. Each round is a minute and 15 seconds long. From there, there's a 30 second break, and then we go right back into it. 20 seconds of speed battle ropes, minute and 15 seconds of walkouts into close grip push-ups. We did six rounds of this. Again, 30 second breaks in between each round. This is an example of how we would do cardio. It switches every day and always goes with what we're doing for strength training. If you don't do cardio this way, I highly suggest you give it a shot. You'll see that it allows the body parts you're not trying to hit to rest and recover while still getting in the cardio, still elevating the heart rate, which is exactly what cardio is. Basically just elevating the heart rate. All right, guys, give it a shot. Let me know what you think.